the tenets of the new party by Bala Gangadhar Tilak. Bala Gangadhar Tilak, who was born in 1849, was a major political leader of Maharashtra. Shortly after the Calcutta Congress of December 1906, when the split in the Congress was narrowly avoided, he spoke in Calcutta on 2nd January 1907, outlining the tenets of the extremists. In 1908, he was sentenced to six years imprisonment for sedition. After his release in 1914, he became a leader of the Home Rule League. His famous slogan, Swaraj is my birthright and I will have it, was often quoted by Indian nationalists. Two new words have recently come into existence with regard to our politics and they are moderates and extremists. These words have a specific relation to time and they therefore will change with time. The extremists of today will be moderates tomorrow just as the moderates of today were extremists yesterday. Pax Britannica has been established in this country in order that a foreign government may exploit the country. That this is the effect of Pax Britannica is gradually realized in these days. It was an unhappy circumstance that it was not realized sooner. We believed in the benevolent intentions of the government, but in politics, there is no benevolence. Benevolence is used to sugarcoat the declarations of self-interest and we were in those days deceived by the apparent benevolent intentions under which rampant self-interest was concealed. It is said there is a revival of liberalism, but how long will it last? Next year, it might be they are out of power and are we to wait till there is another revival of liberalism? And after all, what can a liberal government do. I loved when I read the proceedings of the meeting in Calcutta congratulating people on the appointment of Mr. Morley to the Secretaryship of State for India. Passages were read from Mr. Morley's books. They utterly misunderstood the position or ignored the distinction between a philosopher and a statesman. To convert the whole electorate of England to your opinion and then to get indirect pressure to bear upon the members of parliament they in their turn to return a cabinet favorable to India and the whole parliament, the Liberal Party and the cabinet to bring pressure on the bureaucracy to yield, we say this is hopeless. Yet, we now understand the difference between the old and the new party. The old party believes in appealing to the British nation and we do not. That being our opinion, it logically follows we must have some other method. We have come forward with a scheme which if you accept shall better enable you to remedy this state of things than the scheme of the old school. Your industries are ruined utterly, ruined by foreign rule. Your wealth is going out of the country and you are reduced to the lowest level which no human being can occupy. In this state of things, is there any other remedy which you can help yourself? The remedy is not petitioning but boycott. We say prepare your forces, organize your power and then go to work so that they cannot refuse you what you demand. We have perceived one fact that the whole of the administration which is carried on by a handful of Englishmen is carried on with your assistance. We are all in subordinate service. The whole government is carried on with our assistance and they try to keep us in ignorance of a power of cooperation between ourselves by which that which is in our own hands can be claimed by us and administered by us. The point is to have the entire control in our hands. We shall not give them assistance to collect revenue and keep peace. We shall not assist them in fighting beyond the frontiers or outside India with Indian blood and money. We shall not assist them in carrying on the administration of justice. We shall have our own courts and when time comes, we shall not pay taxes. Can you do that by your united efforts? If you can, you are free from tomorrow. We have not raised this cry from a mere impulse. I do not ask you to blindly follow us. Think over the whole problem for yourself. If you accept our advice, we feel sure you can achieve our salvation thereby. This is the advice of the new party.